So as always, I'll be skipping all the dialogue. Let's get straight into the mission. Is this fish takeable? Probably. Lots of crude treats at the back. Pretty good spot here. One resource camp, I can get the ores and the double fish. And here a granary, and I can get all these fruit trees and the fish. But it's just, if there's an enemy up here, I won't be able to do that. Okay, no enemy. But it also means I'll be exposed if uh, one of the opponents attacks my villagers. Because the AI has really good scouting. I'd like to go to a new tree or whatever. What is going on? Why are they not collecting the correct amount? Is there something I'm missing? There's no way a villager collects 15, right? No, they collect 10. I'm probably mis uh, microing something. And I don't know what. Cutting. Yeah, this only has five. Probably what happened earlier with the village base. Oh, it's okay. It's not too big of a deal. Oh nice, so there is a gap here. Now they can walk. Yeah, the rate is looks normal for the fish. Actually, it looks as fast as a uh, food treats. So.
Two. Let's go. Pretty good militia. Is it worth it? That is the question. Oh, well, they're attacking the wrong. Okay. We don't want to kill the low HP ones. We just want the opponent not to make any more of them. The main reason you want to stay above 150 is for uh, tech and villager production, but since it doesn't look too bad right now, I think we can... We can just make more military units and start attacking. No way that this is blocked. Wow. Well, it's not too far to go like this. Oh, that, that's a nice hunt. And for now, let's just... Oh, we can snipe this arm. Not sure why it is unfinished, but... Okay. Oh, that was worth it. We can kill military units, that'd be great. Let's see how far they're willing to chase. We can kill the food villager, that's awesome. So yeah, just kill one, hide, kill one, back. Huh? 
We just have to be careful when the AI starves because he'll send all his units. Okay, at this point, I think trading for villagers is okay. Oh, I forgot to get a late slinger. What a bummer. I'm not supposed to hit that. Okay, there we go. And now we go to the blue, and yeah, everything will be great. We can kill these before they drop off the food. Well, let's not win by starving because it's going to take ages. Or the whole villager. Well, actually, I just bring everyone that we do not need. Yeah. 
and this should be it. Yeah, so the AI only builds up to 16 villagers. I guess this is a way to balance out the mission so they don't overwhelm you in a 2v1. And yeah, pretty straightforward mission. Go for one first and then attack the other. I guess we got pretty fortunate in this game because Blue only attacked us once. But even if he did attack us, we had Militia, which completely destroys all uh, Slingers and uh, Light Axe. So yeah, that's it for Mission 3. Yeah, nothing much else to say. Red didn't have much of a food economy. And yeah, he died pretty early, so that makes sense.